All right, all right, all right. I uh, got 2.4, which has got to be 2.41, uh, because when I was making the release video, I found a bug that I had to fix. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm going to quickly run through stuff, hopefully, uh, make this super quick video. Um, and here we go. So one of the features that's been shown plenty, of course, is that you can now control, click, and drag to change a value. Uh, this works in all of the parameter fields. Um, and uh, you can change anything you want here in all of these. Works great like that. Um, uh, right click per parameter control. So now all of these parameters has a right click menu, uh, which has got a clone, a default, and a revert. Uh, clone lets you take that parameter and copy paste it into another channel or copy paste it into all other channels. Uh, default will reset it back to whatever the default value would be in a uh, uninitialized uh, channel or for that parameter and then revert will set it back to the unedited value um, since you loaded this and any changes you made to it. Uh, yep, uh, pretty exciting. Down here we have a full waveform now uh, with markers for the sample and loop. Uh, here's the sample markers, the begin and end on the top there, uh, and then the loop markers have a dashed line. Uh, and you can move them as such. Uh, and remember that with the loop um, start and end, uh, we actually have an ability to make that be the length or the end. Currently, it's in length mode, uh, meaning that when you move the start marker, the end marker marks moves accordingly. Uh, if we switch that to end mode, uh, then that doesn't move accordingly anymore. And so that works just like that. Uh, also, of course, fun to, uh, you know, if you're working on trying to get something lined up here and it doesn't quite line up. Now you can quickly come over and uh, use the drag option, the control drag option to get the fine tuning done on that. So that's pretty nice. Uh, what else we got here? Waveform, uh, copy based without um, changing the sample. So sometimes you want to copy the parameters uh, of a zone to another zone, but you don't want to change the sample. Uh, so we can do that now with copy. If we say we just want to copy the settings here, uh, we come over to this guy here and we do a paste. Uh, we see that we've changed the values here, uh, but have not changed the sample. Um, and if you want to do the whole thing, of course, you can uh, copy sample and settings. Uh, then when you come over here and we do the paste, uh, that's all correct there now as well. Uh, import and export. Um, so uh, normally any preset operations are done on the presets that are in this current folder. And that is it. You can open them, edit them, and save them. Uh, but now uh, you can export them anywhere you want on your system and name them anything you want. Uh, and so maybe you can have some templates built if you want. So doing an export will prompt you for a file name on your system and that will export whatever the current values in the editor are out to that. Uh, as well, we've got an import, uh, which is of course the opposite piece of that. And if you've made any changes, it'll say, hey, you sure you want to do that? We say, yes, we do. And then we're given a dialog box here where we can load in the presets. Uh, import the presets in there. So that'll import into the editor. If you want to do the save, you have to do the save manually. Uh, clone options for whole channels and whole zones. Uh, so there are a whole bunch of clone options along with the parameters here uh, at the channel <coughs> level. You can clone your channel settings uh, to any of the channels or to all of the channels. You can clone all of the zones from this channel to any of the channels or all of the channels. You can clone the settings and the zones uh, to any of the other channels or all of them. And lastly, you can clone the minimum voltages. So this settings, these settings here of the min voltages for these zones, you can copy that and paste that into other zones of the other channels. Um, so that's how that works. Uh, let's see. Um, Added some missing tooltips, so things that, you know, like this that didn't have the tooltips there before now have them. Um, not sure I have them everywhere. It would be nice to get them. Uh, also, when uh, looking at a zone that doesn't have a sample assigned to it previously, you could edit the parameters. It didn't make any sense, so uh, those are now disabled. Um, filled in the background here of this to match the... Um, the uh, waveform background there as well. Uh, also had a bug in this guy that when you moved here uh, and exited out through the edge, it would leave this highlighted. Uh, fix that. 
Um, oh, also fixed a bug where previously, <laughs> not sure if anybody ran into it, uh, but if you edit these values while it was updated here on the screen, it actually didn't edit the value of the preset. So uh, that's fixed as well. And then there was a bug with the save button here. So um, if we just, uh, yeah, we want to continue there. Um, so the save button isn't highlighted unless you change anything. Uh, so previously, uh, that meant if I changed this value, uh, that would show me as that I can save it. But if I save, changed it back to the uh, original value, um, it should show me that you it's it's normal now or back to the unedited value. And that wasn't happening for the sample start, sample end, loop start, and loop length values. So um, that's all fixed now. I think that's everything. And um, I think it's pretty exciting. Got a lot of good stuff in there. I know the new editing features and the full waveform with the markers is going to be uh, welcomed. So yay.